All right, we got a couple minutes to get started. I hope everyone can hear me. This is my first time doing it, so I don't really know how to see if you can. All right, guys, so we're about to be over at 5 o'clock. I'm going to give us a, a few minutes um, for other people to log on. Oh, awesome. Jill, can you hear me? Or can, can anybody hear me? Perfect. Yay. All right, I'm still gonna give it a few minutes since we only have about like five people in here. Um... All right, just giving it, let's see, we're at, wait a couple more minutes. Whoop, whoop. So if you're, um just hey ellie if you're just coming on um i'm gonna give it a couple more minutes for other people to log on but we're gonna be making this today it's a, a van gogh inspired piece so i hope everyone's enjoying their day it's beautiful here in jacksonville so so thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me and um have a little fun relaxing art session All right, so I'm just gonna get started with some of the basics and maybe some more people will join us. So you have come here to make a fun Van Gogh inspired piece today. I made this, um, this little lighthouse piece of art. Um, it's really great um, size that, it, it's not overwhelming. It, it doesn't take a huge piece of paper. You can kind of experiment around on it. Um, also, if you ever go to an art store or you can go on online, um, they have already printed blank postcards that are about this size and, um, they have, you know, the stamp place on the back and, um, where you can write the address and whatnot. And that would be really fun to do on this and to send to someone. So just an idea. Um, but before I go into the supplies and everything, I just want to go over a couple things. My name's Maddie, if I haven't introduced myself yet. Um, I work at Art With A Heart in Healthcare. I've been there probably for about six plus years now. Um, so I can see the comments. It's gonna be difficult for me to type back. So my uh, fr good friend and coworker, Brooke, is running the Art With A Heart page, Art With A Heart in Healthcare. So if you have any um, comments, questions, concerns, most likely she will be typing back. Um, I can vocally and verbally say something back, but, um, she's there if, um, you need maybe some more detail or something like that. Um, also we're trying out our donation button for the first time. 
Um, so if you see that and you feel um, compelled to donate to Art with a Heart and Healthcare, thank you so much. But honestly, you being here means so much to us. We really appreciate it. We love um, the support you give to us. Um, and that's just participating in these Facebook Live events um, or going on to our um, Let's Make Art um, link on our website. So I encourage people to, to check out our website lately. Um, it's been revamped and um, I think you'll really like what you see. So let's go into the materials. So this is our piece, I'm gonna put it off to the side. Okay, so we have watercolors. You're only gonna need black. Um, I'll go into it more um, if you wanna use other colors, but I'm just using black today. Put that over here. Um, some good old fashioned Crayola crayons. That's right. So I got a nice fresh 24 pack. Um, this is the brush that came in my watercolors and it's actually a really nice brush, um, you know, considering um, it, it came with the set. It's a good size. Um, might be a little bit thinner, but um, it, it's good for making details, but also bigger um, brush strokes. Um, so I have my pencil, of course, it's Art with a Heart pencil. Um, you can use any pencil, obviously, obviously, though, but I do love our pencils. I have worn down the eraser, so I do just have an extra eraser with me. A napkin. Um, and off to the side here, we got our mason jar of water, obviously just a cup of water. Um, so I'm going to put some of this aside. And then we have our um, drawing pad. So all of these can be found, all the stuff um, just besides like the eraser and the water glass can be found in an um, art to go bag. So if you're currently in the hospital, you can ask your child life specialist um, for these supplies that can be found in our art to go bags. So keep that in mind if you're watching and you don't have the supplies yet. Um, okay, so let's see. First things first, like I said, this is a smaller um, piece of paper. So I'm gonna break this down into um, a quarter of the page and I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to use a scissors um, Just in case you don't have any but if you do of course use that kind of cheated already pulled this piece out, but there we go So what we're gonna do is um, Fold this in half first so we're making a quarter this into quarters or a quarter of it So I'm gonna fold this in half um, if you remember from elementary school um Hamburger style. <laughs> so there's hamburger and hot, hot, hot dog. So hamburger style in half. So what I'm going to do is go along that crease a couple times. I have a little bit of a nail that helps, um, but then I'm going to flip it over and go the opposite way. So you just want to really go over that crease a few times. So it makes it easier to rip. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's see. So I'm just gonna hold it with my other hand up here at the corner. These would be nice too, like if you wanted to make a card, you could fold that in half, that's a good size to do that. Um, so I'm gonna put this piece over here and cause we're only gonna use one quarter and I'm gonna do the same thing, folding it again, quote unquote hamburger style. I'm going along that a few times. Aw, there's some fun people on watching. A lot of the Art with a Heart family. All right, so I went back and forth a few times on that. So I am going to do the same thing, breaking it. All right, so we have our size we need. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our pencil and eraser or pencil, whichever, um, or both. So we're going to be doing a light sketch. Um, if you can, or if you've never drawn or sketched before, um, 
the idea of sketching is you don't have to press very hard, especially for this. You can, I mean, if you can see, you don't need, um, to see your pencil marks. In fact, you kind of don't want to. You can see in my first one, you you the pencil marks around my sun. I'm actually gonna change how I do my sun in this one, but the lighter your hand is, the better, and it's easier to erase as well. So just kind of uh, think about that. Don't press too hard. Be light-handed when you sketch. It's easy to erase and to go over with your crayons after. Okay, so the first thing I usually like to do um, in a landscape like this is to find where my horizon line is gonna be and draw that in. Um, for this, or for most um, landscapes I do, I usually like to put it either a little higher or lower than the center. It makes the art piece a little more dynamic. Um, and then remember, if you make it lower, you'll have more sky and less sea and vice versa. So I'm gonna kind of go with this. I really like these bright colors in the sky. So I'm gonna make my horizon line a little lower than halfway. And I'm just gonna lightly pull that across. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the idea of this sketch is it's a guide rather than, um, rather than the actual drawing. The, the pencil mark is not what we're highlighting here. So we have that. So we have our water, we have our sky. So we're gonna find where we're gonna put our sun. So in the first one I did make a circle, but I realized I really like this explosion and radiation of color. So we're going to do that instead of making a circle. So all you really need, if you think about it, is one single point that's at the center. Um, so I'm going to do it the left side. Obviously, you can make any variation you want on this, um, but I'm going to follow this one and make my dot a little to the left. Just like that. So I don't know if you can see it. It's super tiny, but that's all you really need. It's a guide. It's a reference point. Um, and so then after that, I'm going to put in my lighthouse and land. So I do like this piece because it's simple, but it has that really nice balance. It has um, the sun over here and then the lighthouse over here, um, which is a big part of art. You know, it keeps our eye right in the center or kind of circulating back around. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is put in my little island where my um, lighthouse is over here. Can everybody still hear me? Is is everything good? Not way I'm gonna keep going hopefully okay so I'm going to write in or draw in I should say this island so it's literally just coming along the um, horizon and looping back around like this so it's really just like I don't know like a just a sideways U or you know you got that little that little curve so now we have established our water our sky and our land super easy okay so now we're gonna put in our lighthouse and I've made my lighthouse um, it's kind of um, expressionist like it's not obviously realistic so it's kind of I like that fun almost folk art feel to art so it's more basic shapes than a realistic look if that makes sense um, if you look at a lighthouse you'll notice uh, in real life that it's wider at the bottom and it is more narrow at the top so we're gonna make this shape um, so to make something look like it's um, uh, cylindrical, um, you're going to make the bottom have this little like half, so it, almost like if you were drawing like a lemon or a lime, it would be like this kind of half, half curve and then another half curve, but you only have to do that bottom one here. So I'm just doing, I'm going a little, um, or I'm going maybe like halfway down my land and I'm making this little half curve here like this. Awesome. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is draw your lines up and they're gonna come a little bit in. They're gonna taper in a little bit. So I, I love these step-by-step -step pieces because even mine you'll see at the end is gonna have a different look than my first one. Everyone's is gonna look different. You have your own style, your own feel. So 
don't fit it think that it has to look like this or what I'm doing at the end um, it has to represent who you are and and your art so all right I'm gonna make so how I did that on the bottom I'm gonna do a slight curve on the top like this all right so I'm going to make a line maybe just a little bit down from the top of my lighthouse. Let me see if I move this a little up. Like, let's see, like so. All right, cool. So the actual light I put in there, I did a triangle. Um, you can do more of a lamp shape if you want. You could do a circle, whatever you think. I used the triangle as my inspiration. So all I'm doing is going to the outside of that smaller shape, making a triangle like so. And so the next part um, when we do these stripes, I think is the most effective way to make something look um, like a cylinder or rounded. So you can see they're stripes, but they're not straight across. They're at a curve down like this. So uh, you want to make sure that you count out enough, or I guess stripes. So I'm going to make, if you see here, I have one, two, three stripes. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six lines. So I'm going to start towards the top. And honestly, you can make 15 lines if you want. You could make no lines. Just do whatever you want, but, you know, count it out so you have um, an even number for those lines. So... Or I guess I should say 16 lines if you're doing even numbers. All right, so I have my one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, so this is all you need for the sketch part of it, which pretty, pretty easy, right? Not, not too difficult. Okay, so... Let me put this aside. The next part is the fun part. You need to grab your Crayola crayons. <clears throat> um, I'm so excited because I saved these brand spanking new ones for today. And I'm not gonna lie, my favorite part of opening a box of crayons is the smell of them. Um, I just love the way crayons smell. I, I love the way a lot of art supplies smell. They bring me back to different times and places. But crayons, I don't know. It's just something about it. And a fresh box of crayons, like, ooh, so nice. Okay, so, oh, maybe don't make me feel so weird. Does anybody else like the smell of crayons? You can write that in the comments. These are non-toxic, so it's, it's all good, you know. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add all of the the crayon marks let's see here so i'm gonna start with let's do my sky my um let's do the sun and all of that so you can make <laughs> i like the comments um you can make um your sky however you want the colors um that inspire you i'm, I'm doing warmer um colors up here cooler down down on the bottom so i'm gonna grab out some warmer colors let's see here some oranges some pinks some yellows of course um let's see here what else we got lots of warm colors actually i even like this like peach color just have 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 all the fun um let's see the kind of darker red all right and that's like not even all of oh wait oh wait a minute. okay that's i think these are the my inspiration um that i'm gonna use for my sky um like over here it might be a little different in the end you'll see or actually it might be a lot different so i'm going here to where my point is i'm gonna take my yellow crayon because i feel like when I think of the sun, I think of yellow. I mean, depending on when or the time of day. And all you're gonna do is radiate um, those lines out from that point in in a circ circular fashion. So I'm just going from that point and going outwards 
like so. It almost reminds me of like a dandelion or something like that. So I'm just making my way along the outside. So I'm gonna have some beams of my sun that are longer, some that are shorter. Um, and the idea is not to completely color it in. You wanna have some space um, in between. So the reason we're, I made this like this, um, or any of my brush strokes, because I'm trying to reference the feel of Van Gogh's art. Um, he worked with brush strokes and colors to make movement. So um, that's what we're doing here. We're, we're using that idea of like, wow, that sun is bursting out these beautiful rays and you know, your eye follows it, it's, it's gorgeous. So we got our yellows down. And from here, honestly, you can add whatever colors you, um, or like warm colors you want around it. I think like playing around with them would be fun. So let's see, I did like my pink next. Do love me some pink. So once I start to come down here to where my horizon is, I'm going to just not go past that line. I'm going off the side of the, the uh, page or the paper though. And I am wanting to un overlap into that yellow as well. So it's, um, you definitely will have, like you can see the yellow, the pink, the orange, you know, whatever, but it, the overlapping is nice. It kind of gives us like nice haziness. All right, so I'm just going to keep adding. All right, so there's my pinks. So next I'm gonna do, let's see here. I'm gonna do a bright orange. Let's see, do I want this? Ooh, scarlet, let's do scarlet. Um, Let's see here. See, in the first one, I did not use Scarlet, but I like this bright, bright, bright. So it's kind of hitting the water right here, as you can see. And I kind of avoid that line. Keep going around, blending, not blending, but overlapping my rays. So I thought while um, I'm doing this, I could also give you guys or read you guys some fun facts about Vincent Van Gogh. And some of these I learned today. And no, I'm not gonna talk about his ear. You can look that up in your own time. Um, so, the first thing I learned about Vincent Van Gogh today is he didn't start doing art until he was 27, which really impresses me. <laughs> Because I've been loving and doing art ever since I can remember. So, and considering he was born and lived to the in the mid to late 1800s, and he started when he was 27, that's pretty impressive. You know what I mean? And how far he came in um, those pretty short, you know, 10 or so years after he started. So, I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, he had tried other um, professions before that. Um, but I thought that was really a cool, fun fact. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna keep adding some. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this like tangerine color and add it out. Hi, Patty. All right, so we have some of that orange. And I think the last, let's see, or here. I'm gonna do this like fleshy apricot color at the very um, outside part. I did add some blue. I might add a little bit of blue in my sky up here as well. Mm, I 
actually, you know what? I'm gonna extend that apricot. It's gonna go all the way, all the way out, all the way out. It really, I just realized it's very tie-dye. It's very psychedelic tie-dye, I love it. All right, so cool, we got all that down. Um, The next thing, oh, Patty said add blue, okay. I will add a little blue. So let's see here. I'm gonna do, perfect. <laughs> well, I'll do it a little, um, cerulean blue let's see here just a little on the outside so it's almost like that's the night peeking its way into our sunset all right so i think that looks pretty cool actually so let's go on to our next part of our drawing let's see here so what I'm gonna do next is our water, um, right down here. And I'm gonna put my bright colors off to the side. Boop. Hopefully they don't roll away. Um, and I'm gonna get out my, my cool blues. Yes. Um, let's see, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna grab all my blues right now. I'm actually going to add one detail different in this one that I didn't do to the first one and hopefully it'll work out. You'll see what that is. A surprise, it's a surprise, everyone. Get so excited. Okay, let's see. All right, I think that's all of my blues. Wow, good job, Crayola, hooking us up. Um, or here we go. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put in my horizon line. So that's going to be right below my sky. This this line that um, cuts the, you know, the sky from the um, ocean. So I'll do that one in. It really doesn't matter. Let's see. Oh, it's really in again. Okay. Actually, let's do another one since that's the one here. All right, we're going to do this one. So what I'm going to do is drag my crayon all the way across, but I'm going to avoid um, right here, or I'm going to stop right here. So I'll show you in my first one, the water did go behind a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm just going to act like the land comes up here. So I have that in now. Um, all right. So this is fun. We're going to add all of our water texture, that water, those water lines. So you can add them however you want. You might want to make them more, um, See, I can do it back here. You can do it more like this way, you know, like this, or you can do it more like this. So that's what inspired me the first um, time I did it. I think mine are a little more, there's movement, but it's a little more calm. The waves aren't too big. Um, so let's try that. So I'm just going along and adding those So we have that nice movement of water. And I know some of you might be logged on and think, oh, crayons, it's kind of elementary. Um, but you can have, you can make a lot of fine art with crayons. I chose this one because it does make this wax resistant look. Um, so you should really research, like crayons can make some really cool art. Um, so I'm just keep adding. Yes. All right, so I have that. So what I'm gonna do is just rotate between all of my nice blues right now. So I'm gonna get a few more of those colors in. And you can follow some of the already made lines to create um, like kind of similar movement from like almost like waves at the same place or, you know, just have fun with it.
let's see if I, let me find another fun Van Gogh fact while I'm doing this. All right, so this one's for all of the artists that are watching right now. I mean, we're all artists, right? But ones who are actively making art. Van Gogh made 2,100 pieces of art in his 10 years. 10 years as <laughs> being an artist. So that, and it's 860 oils out of that. So, wow, 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 wow. I'm looking at the pieces of art in the corner of my room right now thinking, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get more productive. So he was so passionate about it, um, constantly putting out work. Um, all right, so I think I have, I have a good amount of lines in there. So this is, this is what I didn't do the first one that I'm going to do to this one secret or, um, it, exciting adventure. Okay, here we go. We're going to get our bright colors back and I'm going to actually put, I, I, I thought I was missing this in the first one, but a little bit of highlights in our water. So what I'm going to do is take some of the colors I use like yellows, pinks, um, oranges, whatever. And I'm going to follow right under my sun and make a few, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. We're doing this together. I'm in this, we're in this together. So I'm gonna put a few of those lines directly under, not over the whole thing, but directly under my sun. I'm gonna put a few. So I'm gonna do some yellows, some pinks. So it's, if you look, if you go out to the ocean, um, lake, whatever, um, and it's sunrise, sunset, you'll have that reflection of the sun on the water. So I'm only, I'm going to lift it up. It's kind of hard to see, but I only made those, those light colors right underneath my sun like this. So I think it might be um, a nice little change. All right, I see Lori is stuck. Is anybody, is... Everybody good? Anyone want to comment? Do I need to refresh? Everything okay? I'm going to keep going. If that's okay. Okay. So if, yeah, if anyone wants to comment that they, everything is still good with sound and visual, that would be great. Um, so let's see. The next thing I'm going to do is, okay, okay, we can still keep going. Cool, cool, cool. Um, also, if anybody misses this um, or you know someone who's missing it, you can send this to them later or they can watch it later. So that's good. This is live but forever on the internet, of course. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's do our, let's do our lighthouse next, actually. So I'm going to grab my black crayon. Yes, the black crayon. The black crayons, the black um, color pencils, the black markers, don't they always go the fastest? So the fact that I have this brand new black crayon not used, mwah, so happy. Okay, cool. So we're going to outline um, um, our lighthouse. <laughs> Laughing at my friends, commenting, I just love you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is literally go over the lines that I've drawn on my lighthouse. So I'm going to go up the side. Easy peasy. Go over the top. Um, so then I'm just going to do everything else. The line across here, my triangle, all right, so we have that. Um, so let me see if we need, okay, so the only other, um, part I use the black in is for the quote unquote beams here. So you can put them in if you want. I noticed some people, they might look kind of 
quote unquote sloppy. I kind of like that feel of the movement. Um, I'm actually gonna try this time too to put the black in and maybe even put some yellow. We have a lot of colors there, but let's just let's just try something new. Why not, right? Okay. So think about it. The light is coming from this point. It's gonna come out from this point and extend. So if you've ever seen a lighthouse, especially if it's turned sideways. It's got, it's thin here and it tapers out to get, or yeah, to get to wider. So you can make your lines as clean and neat as you want, or you can just kind of go for it. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see. So I'm doing kind of like the two or few outside ones and then filling in the middle. Don't be scared about lines going off the page as well. Um, it always makes a, uh, a piece of art look a little more dynamic. All right, cool. So I'm gonna take my yellow. I'm just gonna experiment and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna follow some of these lines with that yellow. This kind of art is really fun too because, or uh, art like this, because there's a last step that changes everything um, in a good way. And it kind of can show you know, I don't know exactly what this is going to look like in the end because we had the last step with the watercolor, which I'll show you. Um, so it's kind of fun to experiment and see. All right, cool. So we have that yellow next up black now. It wasn't in the first one. I'm doing this one. That the highlights in the water. All good. All right, so we're going to fill in our lighthouse now. So I'm just going to do that yellow I already have in my hands. That came out from the top. Filling in. my triangle all right cool so let's see here so for the rest of my lighthouse i only used red um this part i did not fill in with color i only you'll see when i use my watercolor that's all i used so if you want this to be like a red and white lighthouse um use your white crayon every other i'm gonna kind of stick kind of to the same piece and not fill it in at all so just letting you know so I'm going in here trying to find classic red excuse me classic red got it um, so I'm gonna take my classic red and I'm gonna fill in every other line kind of getting rid of this, some of those those crayon crummies all right so we got that so the last part is our island or our land I don't know why but I love how this came out like with the little subtle like peach colors so I think all I used for this was let's find our classic brown cafe brun um and our peach so that's all i used for my land you can you can get crazier with this or you can do green you know it's totally up to you um have fun with you know this and then make your own version so what i'm going to do for my island is i'm going to go along the horizon first with my brown and then i'm going to come down here where that u-shaped loop is and go back over it all right so now we have it outlined um so then from there all i did was pretty much circle around like almost like ovals but the if since they are ovals it gives the effect of the earth laying a little flatter if that makes sense so i'm almost following the shape of the bottom of my lighthouse so i'm circling around like this and you can get kind of like you know if it's land it's probably not perfectly flat so i'm doing some variation in my lines mm -hmm. all 
All right. So I did those. Let me go back with peach. So while I do that, let me find another fun fact about Van Gogh. Do, 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 do. Um, another fact um, about Van Gogh. Let's see if I can get this to get all. Okay. Um, okay, this is wild. Um, it's thought that Van Gogh only sold one painting while he was alive, just one. Um, and that was um, the Red Vineyards near Arel. I guess that's how you say it. It's French, um, A-R-L-E-S. Um, and he only sold it for 400 francs. 400 francs. And nowadays, um, his paintings are bought for what? Um, tens, tens of however many millions of dollars. Um, so that's just so wild to me. So he didn't see his fame while he was alive. Um, and now he's one of the most well-known artists in the world of all time. So that's pretty wild. All right, so I'm just adding some peach in between some of those lines. All right, guys, I think I have all my crayon in. Um, yeah, so all I'm going to do at this point is kind of wash off some of those, those or wash off, just wipe off some of those crumbs. And I'm gonna put this off to the side and you're gonna get next your watercolor. So these are my praying watercolors. Um, yes, they're awesome. washable, awesome. My Might have been loved on, I'm pretty much out of yellow. I have a little bit more black left. So that's all I'm using for this. I haven't really experimented with other colors. Um, the reason I use black is because it makes the colors we have on here pop so much more. Um, so I was thinking if you did, or I did a piece with a lot of dark colors and then went back with a bright color like yellow or something, it would have the opposite effect. So just play around with it. So my crayons are a mess over here, moving them out of the way. All right, so I'm bringing my water cup in now. And I like to add quite a bit of water to my black paint. It's always interesting to me that um, all blacks have like this undertone of like either green or blue. The praying is pretty good. It has a little bit of a green tint, but it's not overwhelming. Um, but you can kind of see it in my water. It looks almost green like. So maybe experiment with whatever black you're using, whatever watercolors before you do it. So I'm just, so if you've never used watercolor, um, the longer you let the water sit and kind of mess around with it, if that makes sense, like, uh, mix it, it'll, the darker the pigment will get. And I want mine pretty dark. Um, I mean, you'll see. So, let's see. So now I've let it sit for a little bit. I might add a little more water. I can always add more if I need to. So don't be scared. This is the scary part. Don't be scared. It's all about fun. We're going to go over our whole painting with black paint right? Don't freak out. I know. I know. You're thinking I'm going to ruin my piece. This is it. I worked so hard. You're not. You're going to make it better. It's only going to be better. Okay. So I'm going to start with my top left since it's further away from me. And I'm just going to start going over everything. So this is where the wax resistance is coming into play. Your crayon, you can, you'll start to see that the crayon kind of pushes through I know it looks like I just spilled a ton of black ink all over my piece of work, but it's okay. Stay, bear with me. Stay with me. We're in this together. We're doing it together. So you can see some of that, that wax um, coming through. 
but have your um have your um napkin handy as well so i'm adding some more water as i go if it gets um if there's not enough I just love thinking about you guys watching like, okay, cool. She ruined it. Great. Wonderful. But no, it's making it so much better. All right. So whenever I do this part, I like to let it sit for a second. Okay. So we're going to let it kind of marinate in there. Let's read the last um, fun Van Gogh fact I have. Let's see. I think there's one more. So... Much of his work was lost because people thought it was worthless. This is wild. His mother is said to have disposed of full crates of his paintings. Full crates. So, like, Van Gogh art just went in the trash. So, just let you know, all you guardians, moms, dads, whoever out there, keep that artwork of your kids, okay? Who knows? They could be Van Gogh someday, you know? Um, all right, so my guy's been kind of sitting for a second. I actually might move him and just wipe the table off a teensy bit. As you can see, I use the same workspace. It's nice. Um, it's, this is just like a drawing board, um, but it's nice to just make a mess of. Um, then I don't have to constantly clean off a table. Um, so just finding something like that, even like a piece of pe plex, I don't know, plexiglass or something. It's nice. Um, but yeah, this nice wooden drawing board is great. All right. So we have our napkin. Now we're going to blot. Okay. I'm just going to go down and blot. Sometimes the other side of this looks cool too. Like the resistance of the wax on the, eh, not so much this time, but so I'm just blotting and blotting. So now you can kind of see it's coming through. Taylor, I believe you. Thank you. I'm glad someone believes in me. Um, and you can wipe off more. Like you can kind of see like I have some um, paper towel texture. So I know this still looks dark, but it's only because the paint is still wet. Oh, my, my little highlights came up kind of nice, right? And you can see some of my yellow. I'm going to get a little closer, okay? So this looks like this, but it will get a little lighter like this. So all of this crayons, it's just, it's still going to resist some of that. It just looks dark right now. So just let it dry for a while. Um, but I think this is such a fun, a fun piece of art to make um, with, you know, anyone, your loved ones your friends. I mean, a lot of us are kind of stuck inside right now. So have fun with your art supplies. Like I said, as simple as they are, watercolors and crayons, like you can make a huge piece like uh, out of, out of these pieces or, or out of these supplies. Um, so that's this one. Like I said, it will dry to be lighter like this. Just give it some time. Um, I really love this part right here. It's really bright. It's really cool. I'm glad I added that yellow. Um, but I wanted to show you um, some other pieces I made like this so you can get an idea like think of something and then make your own version so here I'm going to show you some more if I can find them Ooh, where are you oh here you are um, so this is like one I did with flowers so you can see I use a lot of movement like Van Gogh does so it almost looks like that these flowers have um, energy to them you know what I mean they're vibrating almost and so if you ever do this this is really cool I bet you, I mean I wasn't say I bet you love because I love um the highlights here in this vase you make you just leave a little like spot on the vase and just put some white in there gorgeous um also wood looks really cool with um this technique so you know he Van Gogh uses oils or used oils a lot which we I mean, some of us might have, but they're a very tricky um, medium. So 
you can make something like that with crayons and water and, and watercolor paints. So that's one. I wanted to show you one more. So this one, I let my black sit a little longer. I thought it came out really cool though. So this is kind of a cityscape, I guess, kind of Jacksonville inspired. Of course, there's a bridge in there. Um, but I made this one and I let the watercolor sit for significantly longer and then blotted them. But it came out really neat. Um, almost like, is it batik or um, I'm trying to think of like the uh, fabric dyeing um, or all, it almost looks like the black velvet posters, psychedelic posters back in the day or something. But they, it's just so fun. I love it. Um, but if you enjoyed this, please, please, please um, make your own um, version. Send it to us or or um, you can, you know, um, tag us or at us on any social media. Um, and we're making so much fun tutorials um, right now on our website. So if you go on our website, there's a Let's Make Art page. You can watch us step by step in YouTube videos. There's coloring pages. There's Ajamu's music, um, which is amazing and relaxing and just um, will take you away um, to s somewhere great. Um, I just wanna thank everyone for um, following this today. I had such a fun time. Um, I can't wait to do another one. Um, please let us know how much you like this or any, any critiques in our comment section. I got some nice artist hands going on. Gotta rock them. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Lots of love and whoop, heart, hearts, 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 hearts for everyone. All right, guys, bye. Have a good one. Bye.